Hi everyone, and welcome to my channel, and today I'll be reading a new Valetic Listener by me, so let's get into it. New Valet never thought it would come to that. He never thought he would lay a hand on you, and he never wanted to. He would never resort to violence unless he absolutely had to. And in this circumstance, he did. Or at least he thought he had to. There has been rumors about a copy of you going around. Some mysterious person had used the element of Hydro to make a clone out of you. Just to use that to get to the Chief Justice. And of course, the two of you were anxious, and he wanted you at his side at all times. But once he couldn't keep an eye on you, he felt anxious. Was that the real you? Or the fake? And what did the fake exactly want? What did the people who do this? What did the people who did this actually want from him? He could never come up with an answer that seemed satisfactory. And so, he was left confused, and hurt, most of all. He wasn't sure what to do, and he was not sure what he could say about this. But right now, as you stood by him again, smiling, he didn't feel like you were just the real you. He couldn't help but be suspicious, even though he wanted to believe you. What do you want from me? No, what? He knows that's the real me. Come on, you say, feeling a little bit anxious, seeing his eyes so cold like that. It was terrifying. But surely he could be able to believe you. Come on, Nivellette. You know, we met during August, and I know that your birthday isn't really your real birthday. I know a lot. You could ask me anything and would be able to answer it. He looked at you, feeling suspicious. That does not guarantee me anything. In fact, it is only more suspicious that you know this. Where is my real Wyan? But, but that's the only way I can prove to you that I'm the real one. What do you mean it's suspicious for me to know? I know. You told me yourself. There are other people who know those things too. And how could I know that Wyan didn't tell these things to someone else? And that someone had eventually spread the word. And as the two of you were talking, things got even more complicated. As the clone came to stand by your side. And that's when you knew this was not going to be easy for either of you. This was going to be difficult. And as the clone went up to Nouvellet and hugged him, fake crying into his arms, she said that you were the fake one, that you were trying to take him away from her and to use him, to trick him. And that's what got you fired up, as you lunged at her, and Nouvellet hit you. One thing he knew about Hydra clones was that a clone made of the Hydra element would dissipate upon any physical hit. So, when he had hurt you, and there was a bruise that formed on your face, he knew that you were the real one, especially as the Hydra clone kept on snickering and ran away, dissolving into nothingness as he hit it. He stood there, staring at you, and where the clone was just mere moments ago. And he was trembling. The guilt was too much. His feelings were too much. And he had no idea what to do with this. Moyan, I'm truly sorry. I didn't know it was you. Please tell me you're okay. He said, his voice trembling. As he reached out for you. But you flinched away. Shaking as you looked at him. I... Let me stay for a moment, Nublat. Give me a moment. And he nodded. He couldn't tell you anything. He couldn't even disagree. He was in shock himself. And surely you knew he didn't want to hurt you. But still, it was a little bit shocking and scary for you. The fact that she tricked him in the first place. 
the fact that he had so many trust issues, which was warranted, given the situation that he was in. But he couldn't know the real you. And that hurt. And then the blow that came after. So no wonder you were hurt. And then he kneeled down right next to you, looking at you with such sadness in his eyes. Are you going to be okay? Please tell me. I didn't mean to hurt you, my own. I'm sure you know that. But even then, I'm deeply sorry. Feel free to do anything you want. Novelette, I'm not angry with you. I'm just a little bit hurt. Physically and... Well, I guess I thought you would have been able to figure it out. I'm sorry I was not. He said. He felt confused. Maybe he should have believed you. You said things that were convincing. But he also couldn't trust you. He didn't know the extent of the information that the clone had. So, nothing could make him sure enough that it was you. Not a single thing, and even as he was trying to think, he didn't have enough time to come up with something. Not when he was put into such a spot. So, as you calmed down, he wrapped his arms around you and cradled you gently. He never, ever dreamt of hurting you. He never wanted it to happen. And it did in such an unfortunate way, as he was trying to protect you and himself. But, what matters most, what mattered most, was that the two of you passed through the turmoil, and soon you would be okay. You passed through this test, this difficulty, and this obstacle that was. And now, there would be nothing threatening you. You would be safe, yes, even if it was painful to happen. And as he held you in his arms and tightened his hold, he promised himself he would be careful and to never hurt you ever again. He'd make sure of it. And meanwhile, you were sure that the bruise was going to heal soon. Not to mention, he'd probably already healed it off. You felt a little bit of an ache there, but you wouldn't really know until you looked into the mirror. For now, though, you just wanted to be in his arms and relish in that feeling of safety you got. <laughs>